Hi, this is Sun Sun Mushy, hoping to brighten your guys' day. And I am making this video for, well, it's gonna turn into a pick a card reading, but first I wanted to make an announcement. Woo! I found my One Piece box set! Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I was missing it. And you guys might be like, what are you talking about? It's always back there. No, those are just two different ones. <laughs> I have three. And uh, each of them have like 23 volumes. So it goes 1 through 23, and then it goes like 24 through like, what is it? 46? I don't know. And then like 47 to 70. <laughs> so it's like 70 volumes worth of One Piece. But da 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 da! It's all in here. And so. Yeah, um, where it was, was I was actually, I lent it to my friend, and I forgot that I lent it to him, like, a long time ago, <laughs> or some time ago, and I, like, forgot all, like, this whole time, and it has all the volumes! Well, let's see, um, I have volume one and two, and then Caden's friend has three and four. And then five and seven. Yes. 11, 12, 13. Yup. I've got them all. Because if you can see, 18 and 20. So I'm missing number 19. But number 19 is at my other friend's place. As you can see, they kind of, they kind of travel a lot. So it's supposed to start on one, but it starts at six. Because one through five were missing at that time. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's my announcement regarding One Piece, but, um, this is a pick a card reading video for, I don't know, I'm going to pause and as I set up and put this on my tripod, I'll figure out what this is called and that'll be the, the title. Oh, um... No, I don't know how to, like, advertise myself yet. <laughs> I still don't know how to do that, because there's, like, channels where they're like, Hey, like, make sure to do this, this, and that if you want to support the channel. That kind of stuff. But all that's in my description. Oh, that's what I should say. Okay, um, before we get started, if you want any information on a personal reading or anything to help support me check out my description <laughs> okay i'm gonna go put this on my tripod now one second so this is a pick a card reading for if you are trying to manis manifest something specific um or if you are feeling stuck if you're trying to take action um if any of those call out to you that's what i'm hearing with uh manifest individuality and king of swords so you might be trying to manifest something specific. So this might not be like a, oh, how do I just like, you know, like manifest things, but rather it's like, okay, I'm trying to manifest something specific. I'm feeling stuck right now. What should my focus be on? It's that type of reading. I'll come up with a title for it, but um, yeah, you can choose either reading one, two, or three, or you can choose it based off of these crystals. You can choose, <laughs> you can choose a sight and a stone. Yeah, uh, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so reading number one is Honey Calcite and Moonstone. Uh, let me see. There you go. So that's Honey Calcite and Moonstone. Reading number two is Orange Calcite and Goldstone. So that's that. And reading number three is Amazonite and uh, Sunstone. <laughs> so it's a sight and a stone. <laughs> so yeah, whichever one you choose, we're going to get started with reading number one. So. And I plan to use all three decks. But the order I start with will be different for each reading. Okay, so your message. Um, yeah, there's something in your thoughts 
something you clearly want to manifest at this time I'm hearing with the high priestess of air. This is number six. Um, perhaps there is something that you moved on from in the past and or you are in the process of moving on and you feel really good about that and you're just kind of ready for the next thing. That's what I'm hearing with Six of Swords, or uh, sorry, uh, High Priestess of Air. But I do hear Six of Swords because it's Air of Swords and this is number six. Six of Swords is like a moving on energy, um, moving forward. Let's see, Six of... <laughs> it came out again, but literally Six of Swords. So, yeah, I'm hearing the battle is over. I'm hearing that you are ready to move on. And if you're not ready to move on, that you are in the process of moving on. Eight of Cups. This is a moving on energy. You, you're ready to set sail and put your heart into um, pretty much another situation. And I am hearing um, to do a bit of a one piece reading. So with that box set that I found that my uh, friend gave to me today, and I forgot. Basically, I'm going to go with the volume, I'm going with volume 6, because <laughs> we picked 6, and then I'm going to go to page 68, because this is the 6, and that's an 8 of cups. And I'm going to pick um, a message from that, from, that, uh, from that page. So I hope you're alright with this. Page 68. You have a lot of experience, so um, you have a lot of experience to the point where like it's kind of like whatever you're moving on from, the people you might be moving on from or person you might be moving on from. I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything out of them. For some of you, um, it may be that um, they might have led you on to believe like, not believe, but like they kind of talked about like, oh hey, this is what the world is like this, this, and that, like, it's all about, like, this type of strength, but then, like, you, a very experienced person, are, like, it's, like, you're, like, I already know, like, what true strength is, it, it's kind of, like, this just isn't worth my time, it's, like, it's, like, um, someone you'll never really see eye to eye with is who you're moving on from, is what I would say, um, and let's see, I'll pick one more card from here, 39, success, yeah, so, I'm hearing for the majority of you, this is not a trying to move on energy, but rather a very successful moving on energy. This is something you have done. And so, I'll go to page 39. I really hope you guys are alright with these, like, one piece messages. <laughs> Aww. And, um, you know, I feel like you moved on in a very positive way. I feel like it's like no hard feelings with uh, with this person. Maybe on their end there's a little bit more like hard feelings, you know, like maybe they're like still hurting maybe or more like not understanding. But I feel like the way that you left the situation, you left in a, in a way that like you still gave them like your hand. Like you're like, like you're like, hey, you know, I'm there for you. Like, hey, good luck. Or like, um, you know, like no hard feelings, pretty much like very positive way to leave and move on from this situation. So I'm hearing success. And um, if the other person is hurting or upset or perhaps making you feel different than that, um, so this is Spirit's way of saying that, hey, you did pretty much the best that you yourself could do. Um, and to feel, feel rather proud of the way you handled things. And uh, even if the other person might not see it that way, um, Spirit is saying that they, they, they like, they got you and that they understand pretty much. So I'll put together two more numbers. Oh, if you guys are wondering what, um, how I'm drawing these messages, I don't know if you guys are. Let's see. Basically, um, since I know this series so well, I just go to the page. So this is page 68, and there's this guy, Don Creek, and he's like, oh, talking to this geezer, <laughs> this old guy called Zeph, and that's him right there. Pretty much that Zeph guy is this person who's like super um, experienced, and so like this Don Krieg guy is just like not understanding why this 
chef, this like this Zeph guy is like just here chilling when he was like such a big shot before basically. And uh, it's basically like I see you as that the chef guy who's like super experienced and like the person you're moving on from as this Don Krieg person. But like <laughs> someone who uh it's just kinda like good luck to them and you just kinda like move on from it. So like I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys are curious about like me reading the characters and stuff to you. Or if you're alright with me giving messages from the One Piece book as well. I like how it's like becoming like <laughs> from the One Piece book. It's just really fun to um I draw a lot of basically I learn a lot from my favorite series, so I really like to do that. So I'm gonna do it again and I hope you guys are alright with it basically. So dress breathe and opportunity beckons. So four of swords, four of hearts, or uh, four of cups. Um, I'm here to take a breather, to reflect, um, take some time to yourself, and um, there's this opportunity that you're thinking about with your heart, this person that you're moving. So there's someone you're moving on from, and then you are moving on to. So this person you're moving on to um, will be there, it's just, uh, keep, uh, keep breathing, keep getting through, um, doing things, making decisions, being, um, moving forward at your own pace. Moving forward also means when there's nothing to do, to keep moving forward anyways. Um, try to find a way to relax. Yeah, um, it's kind of like, yeah, this person that you're moving on from, they might be making it still kind of a challenge for you to uh, to move on from. Not necessarily that they're like doing things to hurt you, but rather just like their overall impact. You might be seeing it affecting somehow this other person or someone else in your life maybe. Or maybe it is just you. Um, where I'm getting that from is basically that Don Creek character kind of just like hits this one person. <laughs> um, the whole situation is this, this Don Creek guy is like starving, and uh, this guy who he hit basically feeds him, knowing that they're feeding like this person who who like basically wrecks everything and everywhere. But like they feed him anyways, cause like that's his moral. His moral is like I feed whoever is hungry. So, the Don Creek person basically got fed a bunch of food, and is like crying tears of joy, and then he just like, tackles the guy who fed him, because he's just like, in this series he's ungrateful, I'm not saying that the person you're moving on from is ungrateful, I'm just saying, um, that their actions may be more blunt at this time, and so, really like, it really seems like what's best right now is to keep resting, recuperating. Um, I'm going to pull two more cards. Balance. Yeah, this is a very balancing time. Um, and move. Move on. Move your, like, change your focus, I'm hearing. Share. Share the love when you feel like sharing the love. Um, go, go slows, pretty much. With just breathe, opportunity beckons. Like, balance and move. I'm hearing, like... Take steps forward, but but don't like go like running forward, if that makes sense. And I see one, four, and seven. Fourteen right here, seven right there. So I'm gonna go to page 147. Again, you guys just let me know if this is not something that interests you, and I just I might not do this type of reading again with like the one piece volumes. But knowing myself, I probably will. Interesting. So, I think we ended up on a page that is more or less just a picture. One forty-five. No, they don't play it like that. So, chapter fifty-two, six, one forty-seven. Okay. Yeah, this is just the beginning. I'm hearing that you maybe you make a bold move. Um, and you just realize that, like, simply it's not the time, and maybe it hurt to find out it's not the time, but ultimately that, that moment is a defining moment 
for the rest of your journey. Um, I feel like maybe you did something and you realized that you went too fast, maybe. And I'm not hearing that you are regretting it, but basically, if you're regretting it, Spirit is still just trying to remind you that this is a success, that you're just following your heart. You are following, you really thought about it too. You really, really did think, you really, really did reflect. Um, I think just, maybe you just like went and tried something and then you maybe realized, huh, we're not in balance quite yet. And maybe that energy set you back a bit or made you feel like, maybe it like knocked you down just a little bit. But ultimately, this is all like a very positive beginning to your foundation. So that's really cool. Um, it's very possible with this pick a card reading that uh, readings one, two, and three are going to transfer to the next. So if this resonated with you, um, that's cool. I hope this kind of gives you messages you were looking for. It might not be exactly relevant to the title of the video. Um, I guess these are just the messages Spirit wanted to get out there. So yeah, sending love and light. Um, peace out. Or see you guys with readings number two and maybe even reading number three. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, because of how I feel about it, I really am gonna leave these out here. I'm gonna keep, um, working on these readings pretty much. So yeah, here comes reading number two, where I will then start with this deck. So reading number two is Orange, Calcite, and Goldstone. Basically, if I get a number between 8 and 30, I'm gonna pick another One Piece volume. And if not, um, there's just not going to be a One Piece message in this one. So these ones want to come out. Seven and four. So seven of wands and the four of wands. Or uh, four of pentacles. So... <laughs> I'm hearing... Synchronicities are going to line up. It's just a matter of if you're going to be right... If you are going to be open for that great change. There's something big that is going to happen, I would say. There's some there's some great change coming. So if you're feeling stuck right now, I'm hearing it's not gonna last for long. But I'm also hearing you're not that it, it won't feel like that. Because you're in the four of pentacles energy. I'm hearing it's a very still energy, but yet it's very fast. So you might not be doing a whole lot at this present moment. Spirit is saying that's okay. You're exactly where you need to be at you know the Steven Universe song, it's Be Wherever You Are. I'm really hearing that song play in my head. Um, since Seven came out, um, hey, neither of those are in here. But yet, it, two came out together, adding to Eleven. So, honestly, I am going to grab the Eleventh volume. <laughs> Again, my apologies if you guys um, are not feeling the One Piece vibe. Um, this is something I'm probably going to start doing in a lot of my videos. I'll probably label them One Piece Tarot Reading, so then you guys kind of know what to expect. So, but for this first one, yeah, you guys might not expect it, because this just came out of nowhere. Yeah, if you guys can tell, I'm just kind of throwing out ideas, planting random seeds. So, uh, yeah, it would, uh, it would mean a lot to me if anyone left in the comments, like, how you feel about any of my ideas. Um, I might make a video telling you guys all my ideas, or I'll just start releasing them. I will say one of them. One of them is that instead of, like, other than One Piece reading or a tarot reading, I do um, a piano reading where basically um, just using your username or your name, I uh, ask Spirit to pick up your energy, to tap into your energy, and I play a song that is basically your song, and then I give a bit of an analysis on it, maybe, unless if, uh, you know, you just want the song. Um, and then I do also, like, a reading at the end. So it's kind of like if you want a personal reading, that's one of the types. One of my kinds of personal readings is basically a piano reading. Another one could be a one piece reading and one can just be, you know, just the cards, stuff like that. And all of these ideas of course are free, but let me know if you guys are interested in any of these types of readings. And I'm definitely, um, definitely down to do that because it sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to watch four of pentacles. Yeah, so something big is coming up and it's going to and it's going to be a matter of if you're, like, basically, if you're stuck right now, the reason is to ready yourself, ready your heart, ready your mind to balance. I really am hearing this is a continuation 
of reading number one, but more so the ending of it, the balance and move, um, balancing yourself out to get ready for this, maybe commitment is even something I'm hearing, this promise, this union, this getting together, um, this is a twin flame connection, soulmate, karmic, you know, they're all just kind of labels. I mean, they're like, they mean different things, I guess, but basically, if there is somebody and you are feeling you want to commit to them and they want to commit to you um, and nothing is happening right now, Spirit is saying something is happening and but in behind the scenes and you got to work on balancing yourself out, whatever that means to you. Um, that could just mean like feeling at peace right now. That could just mean um, growing yourself as who you are, that sort of thing. Whatever it means to you, balance. Okay, lead. Be authentic, be who you are. Yeah, I'm just hearing that Steven Universe song, Be Whoever You Are. Um, so four, and I am gonna read from the, the, the book. Yeah, three, 43 and 34 is what I'm hearing from that. So share the love, by the way. Yeah, be who you are and share the love. So be open to this connection. You might be a little bit closed off from this person, uh, regardless of how that happened. Um, I'm just hearing just really, really be who you are. 40, so 43 and 34. 2, 3, 3. So there's page 43 and here's page 34. So, page 34, I'm hearing with, as you are yourself, and you're just chilling, this situation is gonna like come out of nowhere. This um, divine timing is gonna come out of nowhere. So if you're feeling like things are like stuck right now, if you're in a stagnant energy, that's good because things are about to really kick in. <laughs> like things are about to get into like 12th gear. <laughs> if you guys have watched Rick and Morty, <laughs> uh, it like might take your breath away, pretty much is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing, woo, <laughs> like a celebration. It's a very positive one. Um, an instantly understanding. It's something that the moment it happens, you and this other person, you just, you'll just know. You'll just know what it is. You'll, um, you'll know what you want to say, what you want to, how you feel, like, because you are being yourself. Um, and it's like, it, it's like you're picking up on something. You're picking up on like the message behind something. It's like they say something and you like know the back, you know the history behind it. Um, you might be psychic as we all are, but like you know, like it might be something on a more psychic level where you like they might say a sentence and you just know the whole backstory. Or it's like you're good at reading between the lines, you know. Um, if you want to know like how where I'm getting that from, basically. Um, where did it go? So, there's this whole page, and there's this whole scene going on where this main character, Luffy, and this, like, shark dude named Arlong, they're, like, talking, and Luffy's just, like, listening to him, and basically this Arlong guy is calling this one person a genius, and Luffy's like, okay, cool, whatever. But, like, Luffy's looking around this room and notices that there's, like, blood on a pen. So, like, this guy is, like, complimenting this genius person for drawing so many maps for him. But Luffy basically catches on that, like, this person was more or less a slave and, like, suffered because there's blood on the pen. So, like, they pick up beyond what's being heard. If you get how I, like, kind of, like, got that message. So, but in this regard, in a very different scenario, your life, you know, um, it's like, yeah, you'll pick up on something very intimate, basically. Very, very close. Like, there, you might share something very, very intimate with them. They might share something very, very intimate with you. That sort of thing. Self-worth. This is going to be something very, um, very important. Especially with, it's like, it'll be good to be balanced when regarding this kind of stuff. Like, the conversation might get deep, or the message that might get sent to you could get deep. Um, 32. 
to the warrior. Yeah, this is something you and that person um, are both going to share with one another. This is, this is not just about the self. This is about um, the partnership, the union, the relationship, uh, person of interest, you know, depending on your guys' situations, for those of you who might be listening. Um, are there even 322 pages in this one? There's not. So, I'm hearing... I'm hearing to... Is there, is there a book 30 in here? There is. So, this is going to be for the third reading. I'm just prepping this. Um, yeah, pretty weird reading, I know, but... <laughs> that I'm doing right now. But this is how I feel. And with this, I am hearing to draw two more cards. So, what does spirit want you to know if you're feeling stuck or if you're trying... I already forgot what I said the rest of this was all about. There's an oath. Yes, there is an oath um, being spoken from this, from this other person, you know. So there's this person, right? And it's like they're giving you some sort of oath, some sort of like, I'm just hearing commitment throughout all of these readings, but um, yeah, that's the message I'm hearing. This could be spoken through dreams, because the warrior is a very dreamy card, so in this regard, yes, but I still am feeling there is going to be something quite big where all the timing, both in your life, their life, everywhere in the universe, like the timing is going to be just absolutely right on. Right on time, basically. Conclusion! 12, and that's 21 backwards, my favorite number. So yes, there's something about this, like some mystery that is coming to an end. So you can begin a brand new start. And I'm hearing that brand new start is going to be in reading number three. So if you guys have been following me from reading one, in reading one, by the way, I mentioned that these all feel like kind of rather connected. Um, reading one is basically like you moved on from something. So, you know, if you're already like there, like, like pretty much, you can just watch reading three. Because <laughs> the last reading, I feel like basically if you chose reading two, like maybe you don't need reading one's messages, but you could move to the next one. And then if you watch reading three, Maybe you don't need reading two or one. Get it? It's kind of like time. Yeah. So, hope these messages resonated. Definitely going to continue with the One Piece with volume 30 for the final one. Um, sending love and light. Uh, talk to you guys either in the next reading, like that I'm about to do, or in another video. Uh, peace out. So, here is reading three. Amazonite and Sunstone. We're going to get started. Where now we're starting with this deck. Um, so, this became pretty much love oriented. Take the lead. So, you're getting take the lead. And what else are we getting? We're getting three cards, even though I wanted to. So, I'm going to take these cards. Simply love, sadness, and loneliness. So there is a balance, and they are being pretty specific about what the balance is. The balance is about your alone time and your initiative time. The time you take for yourself to really learn and think and be off on your own, basically, and isolated. And to also heal during that time and to feel a lot. And the other time that you're balancing is the initiative, is the communication, is the charging forward, both with this connection but with your life. But mostly I'm hearing the connection because we have Simply Love, Six of Cups in the middle. This is a union. So a union is coming in a lot closer than you think. Um, and it has to do with balancing out those two energies. So that is coming forward really strong. I'm hearing that I'm going to be basically looking into this volume with this card in this one if it totals up to a three digit number. So yeah. Oh, and I'm hearing to go in sets of threes this time. Last time I was trying to go by twos and then a four at the end. I'm hearing to go three, three, and then six. So. Nope, not yet. 
not feeling good about that. These ones. Yep, don't forget and summon. So, and I really feel as though these were supposed to go out this way. So we got 16, 13, and 28. So, basically page 161 and 132. So, invisible, yeah, with this take, a, this is another balance. So, like, regarding balancing taking the lead and not taking the lead, like when to take initiative, when to move forward, when to not, and when to have your alone time, this balances out another way in, verse, in terms of, like, when do you reach out? When do they reach out? There's a balance between that and then between your, I, with your alone time, your, there's a balance between being alone and, and also being connected and remembering that you're not actually alone. This is just your alone time, but you're not alone. You get what I mean, hopefully? Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. And overall, this also, again, and then balancing your, your, your separation with your connectivity Balancing and connecting those together as well also result in summoning this love, this union, in manifesting, in changing yourself, changing the dynamic, changing the, like, not the connection, um, but changing, yeah, just changing, just transforming. Because uh, I'm saying that because of number 13. And um, some messages from this, since there's 16 and 13, I take the first three, 161, if you can see that. So page 161. And then I start here with the 13 and go to page 132. <laughs> so there's some messages in there. Let's see. <laughs> what does the all-knowing wisdom of One Piece have to say? <laughs> so, ah, uh, there's an apology I'm hearing. The chapter is called Sorry. That's 166, but that's where I was going to go to go backwards. So I need to go to... Where is it? Where did it go? 284. So that's 166, I think. <coughs> 165, 164, 163, 162, 161. 161. Yep, yeah, another apology, literally. Um, you can read this part. It just says, I'm so sorry. Um, and it's it's not sorry that you did something. It's more sorry that you couldn't do something. That um, situations just had to come out the way they did. And sorry, basically. A very true meaning. Like, like a real, like, I am sorry. <laughs> and then 132. So, 282, desire, and for, some, for many of you, they might actually come forth and tell you that you are who they desire. Um, I don't want to give anyone's hope up, but I, I am feeling that vibe, that that might be having to do with the big surprise. Um, you might want to listen to reading number two about that, this like, seven of wands energy. But yeah, so, one, so 132, so 128, 29, 130, 131, 132. Ha. Um, they and then a different message coming up is you might just see beyond bullshit.